everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 4B. Today we're going to finish up everything in Unit 4. So we're going to start, we have some minor tonal patterns, but first we're just going to sing our song to sing once. This is Leaves Are Falling. So we're going to do some tonal patterns in minor tonality. And what I'd like for you to do is when I sing a pattern, you sing back a different order of the three tones of the minor tonic pattern or the minor subdominant pattern. So remember our tonic pattern, la, mi, do, do, la, si, la, minor tonic, la, do, mi, minor subdominant, re, fa, la. Okay, ready for this? So I'll sing a pattern, you sing back a different order. Instead of how we've been doing this recently, we're gonna do just one pattern and then you'll sing it back. So I'll just sing la, do, mi. Then you could sing mi, do, la, or mi, la, do, or la, mi, do. Okay, here we go. La, do, mi. Re, fa, la. La, fa, re. Mi, do, la. La, mi, do. Re, la, fa. La, re, fa. La, do. Okay. If you want continued practice with that, you can listen to the Pattern CD Track 20 and you can echo back their patterns and then the next time you do it, you can sing the patterns back in a different order. Now notice that they do not just use the minor tonic and subdominant patterns. They also use the dominant pattern. So you'll be getting all three in there. All right, let's do some movement in triple meter. We're going to move and sing the triple meter song. Don't have that in my head. Ba, 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 sing with me. Triple now feel as we're moving in three. Moving in three, moving in three. Triple now, feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant microbeats on do da dee. Do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, do da dee. Macrobeats on do. Do, 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 do. Yep, I did that backwards. You do chant macro beats, I'll chant micro beats. Do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, switch. Do, 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 do. You chant micro beats, I'll chant a pattern. Do da dee, do, do da da dee, do. Do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, do. You chant a pattern. I'll chant macro beats. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Echo 
me, please. Do da da dee do, do da dee do. Do ta da dee do da dee do ta da ta dee to do. Do da dee do da dee do da ta dee to do. Do da dee do ta da dee do da dee to do. I'm going to sing a German folk song. Please join me in singing it. And I'd like for you to move your body like you're a slow worm looking for an apple. And let me just make sure I've got German folk song in my head. La la sila. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. Go ahead and join me in singing Girls and Boys Come Out to Play and move like you're a wiggly jellyfish. Do so me do ti do. Bum ba bum, sing with me. Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. Bum ba 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 bum ba bum. Go ahead and come to the keyboard and open up your book three to the first page in unit four. This is page 13. And we are going to do, sit nice and tall, check your distance, lots of stuff with the damper pedal today. So, right foot on right pedal without sound. So this is your right foot, not just your correct foot, your right foot as opposed to left. Place the heel of the right foot on the floor and the ball of the foot gently on top of the right pedal. So the ball of your foot is the same place in your foot as this part is in your hand. That's the ball of your foot. Don't put your toes on the pedal. You're probably going to end up with a toe cramp and you won't have a lot of strength. So I want to do that. Ball of your foot is on the edge, comfortably on the pedal. I wouldn't say on the edge because then your toes end up on the pedal. So comfortably on the pedal. Notice how the foot feels resting on the pedal. By the way, this will probably feel different if you're barefoot or if you're wearing one pair of shoes or if you're wearing another pair of shoes. I guarantee that if you're wearing big winter boots, this is going to feel very different than if you're wearing tennis shoes, which will also probably feel different than if you're wearing some kind of dress shoes. So check this out in different items of footwear if you wear footwear in the house. Even if you don't, check and see if you have something clean that your parents would be okay with you using at the pedal because it feels very different. Press the pedal all the way down and rest it there. Keep the heel on the floor. So see how comfortably your leg, your foot, knee mechanism can rest. Release the pedal by bringing the ball of the foot up until the pedal stops moving. Only until the pedal stops moving. Keep the heel on the floor so you're not lifting like this. So keep the heel on the floor. Practice this press, release, down, up movement. Excuse me. Always keep the heel on the floor. Do not let the pedal make a noise. Now, you may notice that as you're doing this, if your space around you is very quiet, there may be a little kind of noise as you press the pedal down. What that is, is that is the dampers swishing the strings as they go by. That's not the type of noise we're talking about. This is the type of noise we're talking about. Ooh, the big clunk. So when it says, do not let the pedal make a noise, that's what we're trying to avoid. What happens, you make that noise when the, the I'm gonna be the pedal here and I'm gonna be my foot. So when you press the pedal down and then your foot comes off of the pedal, that's what makes that clunk. So when your foot only goes up, 
you can have a rapid noise as the dampers go loop, loop, but it's not the same clunk as if your foot comes off the pedal. So just so you know what types of noises we're talking about here. Okay, so that's that. Practice that, please. Then, right foot on right pedal with sound. Syncopated pedal practice. And this is a very common term, syncopated pedal. You're going to find a lot of people talking about syncopated pedal. So press any piano key and rest on it gently. I'm going to play, I don't know, this C. Now, rest on it gently. Your whole hand, finger, arm mechanism is resting, except your finger is nicely shaped so that there's a little bit of energy in the tip of your finger just to keep your hand stable. A nice bone structure there. So you're resting gently. Press the pedal down to the floor. Then release the piano key, but keep the foot down. Now, if I hadn't done that so slowly, you would still hear bah! So I'll do it faster now. Press the piano key, pedal down, release the piano key. The sound continues. Look, Ma, no hands. Next, play another piano key. Feel the piano key reach the bottom of the key bed, then move the foot up and down very quickly and quietly. So here's my foot. I'm going to show you what my foot is doing. Oops. I can coordinate this. I can do this. So as soon as the key goes down, the foot goes up and down quickly and quietly. The old sound should disappear and the new sound should be present. Now we can go to the next key. As soon as you feel it, let go. So that's your sequence of movements. I happened to play a C major scale. I recommend that you try this a whole bunch of times in a row, like playing a scale. If you just do it once or twice, you're not going to learn this. This is one of those physical coordination things that takes doing it lots of times, and then it becomes automatic, and you're just going to do it, and you won't have to think about it. But right now, it's going to take a lot of intent, careful practice. And really later, it takes intent, careful practice as well. You just get to do more cool things with the pedal. So it's not that we really get to forget about it. We just have even more cool things to do later. Okay, so this is the sequence of movements. Play a piano key. Press the right pedal down with the right foot. Release the piano key with the finger. Play another key to trigger the foot up, down movement. Play up, down. Release the piano key with the finger. Listen carefully. Do you hear the new sound, but not the old sound? Here's what it would sound like if you heard both sounds together. two sounds at the same time. They're fighting a little bit. Here's what it sounds like if you didn't catch the second sound. Then your sound goes away. So you're trying to avoid those two things. You don't want two sounds to mix and you don't want silence. So take your time, work on this a lot. This is a foundational skill that we are going to use forever at the piano. So please take some time and practice that now. And then if you look over here, we're going to learn the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when D is Do and B is La. But before we do, Let's review the, uh, let's just do something simple. Let's do, when C is Do, we're going to do our tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. Do, Do, so, Do. And we're going to play them with the pedal. So I'm going to show you the foot going up and down down before I start, up, down, up, down, up, down. So as soon as you feel that key go 
going down where you change to a new chord, that's when the foot goes up. So you could leave it down here. Up, down. Up, down. Go ahead and practice that, please. Isn't that a neat sound? It's so beautiful. It's like suddenly the angel choir has joined in. Oh, well, what happened to you? Hi. So now let's look at something new. We're going to look at our new keyboard skills for this unit. The tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when do is D and la is B. Hi, 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 hi. So when do is D, la is B. Remember practice singing. Do, mi, so, and then la, do, mi. Notice how do and mi are the same for both chords. Go ahead and practice those. And then your tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. Go ahead and practice that. And then let's go ahead and sing the roots. I know we're not getting to sing syllables yet, but we're practicing these roots. Do, do, so, do. Sing with me, please. Do, do, so, do. Now in minor. Do, la. Just going to sing. La, la, mi, la. Sing with me. La, la, mi, la. Yeah, that sounds nice, doesn't it? It's very pretty. So what you're doing today is separated and separated. Practice those and just sing the roots by themselves. Okay, and then we're going to practice, we're going to review playing the intervals, playing and singing the intervals in a pentascale. So if you look at page 13, our first page in unit four, all the way over here, number three under keyboard geography and technique, play intervals that occur in a pentascale. So we're going to do in D major, play the D major pentascale with me, please. Okay, so we're going to play and sing intervals from do, play and sing with me. I'll play and then you can play if you're not sure what I'm going to do. Can't read my mind. Do, re. Do, mi. Do, mi. Do, fa. Do, fa. Do, so. Do, so. Intervals from re. Practice the intervals from me, intervals from fa, and intervals from so. Okay, now let's do in D minor, same minor. All right, so we're going to sing intervals from la. I'll sing and you sing. I'll sing and play, then you sing and play. La ti, la ti, la do. La do, la re, la re, la mi, la mi. Intervals from T. T do, T do, T re, T re, T mi, T mi, T la, T Go ahead and practice the intervals from Do, intervals from Re, and intervals from Mi. Make sure you practice those this week. Now, looking over at the exploration, creativity, improvisation, we're looking over here at number one. We have all sorts of cool things that we are going to do with Latvian folk song. So this is in book two. 
This is on page 25. So this was a couple of units ago in our unit reviews, several units ago. 25. So Latvian folk song sounds like this. If you can, open your book too to page 25. join me in playing that. You can play just the melody hand, that's totally fine. And we're going to use some different dynamics. So we're going to play this loudly. Do, day, ready, play. And now we're going to play it quietly but we're going to play it in E minor. Play an E minor pentascale. You can play this hand too, if you can, otherwise just play the melody. Do today, ready, play. Now, I would like for you we just played it in one new chiality. We're going to transpose it to four other chialities. I want you to do that yourself. And then you're going to change the tonality. Do, 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 do. You need to do that yourself. And then change the tonality. So then play it in a major key. I want you to try all of those things on your own. Phew, that was a lot of stuff. If you had trouble with any of that, we will look at that together at the group class check-in. And that's all of your exploration, creativity, improvisation for today, because that's a lot. So I'd like for you to keep working on that all the time that you're working on this video. And then we're going to do a couple of projects that are not in the book. So these are just for today. So we're going to sing, I'm going to sing Russian Folk Song 1, and we're going to change the meter. So Russian Folk Song 1, I'm going to take a look and just make sure I'm singing this correctly. Ready for it. Go ahead and move in triple meter, please. Ba, ba, ba. What? Oh, yeah. So the original Russian Folk Song 1 sounds like this. There you go. That's what I'm missing. Now we're going to change that to triple meter. Go ahead and move in triple meter and listen while I sing this in triple and then I'll have you join me. Here I go. Sing with me. that whenever we change the meter, there's more than one way to do it. I was thinking about it. I, we also could have done just to honor some, some of the original rhythms, but there are different ways to do those things. Now, we're going to sing Russian Folk Song 1 again. We're going to sing the original, and we're going to change the tonality. So... Back to the original. Go ahead and sing with me in duple meter. Bum, bum, bum. Sing with me. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 Now I'm going to give you do, mi, so, mi, do, ti, do. We're 
going to sing this in major. Bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. All right, so those were our other things for today. So you can tell we're starting to spend a lot more time working on changing tonalities and changing meters in our songs. So let's look at some review in book two. This time we're reviewing units 14 and 15. So grab your book two and we're looking at unit 14. This is on page 38. So we are almost done with this song. We did a lot of things with Russian folk song two last time. Go ahead and play this with me. Harmonic minor tonality, la is D. did, can you play the, uh, I think all you need is springtime one or the pentascale on D major. You already know the D major pentascale. Go ahead and play that. Now can you play this in D major? If you can, try it in this hand as well. If you want to just watch, that's fine, and then you can try. Bum, bum, bum. is of a song when you do that. So go ahead and play it in D major if you did not just now. And then we're going to look at a new meter. So back to D minor. So go ahead and just play with me. We're going to change our due days to do these. I'm going to play with both hands. You could do just the melody, it's totally fine, or you could listen and play after we're done. Do, da, de, do, play or listen. we have a couple of ways we can go about it. We can keep the same chiality or the same tonic, so we could have D minor to D major, or we can change the chiality to play in a different major key. So we could go from D minor to F major or D minor to E major, some other major key that we've already played. In this case, we've already played D major, so that's pretty easy to switch. So the, there are a couple of different ways to change the tonality. All right, go ahead and play, practice any of that that you need to practice. Mark today's date by the new tonality and new meter and mark a sticker or cross out or whatever you'd like to do for unit 14 on the front cover and then turn over to unit 15. Our famous song that I taught you backwards. So if a couple of these notes sound backwards to you, fear not, it's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world if you learn two notes in one song backwards. We will all live. So we're gonna review the melody I mean, I mean there, there's nothing else. So we're going to review the solo part and then we're going to play this in, we're going to play this loudly and softly. That's it. So just so you can get the melody on this one. Okay. Circus tricks. I'm going to play it twice and then we're going to talk about it a little bit and then we can do some more work together if you need more help. Other group last check-in. Duple meter. 
Major tonality, Do is C. Fa melody starts on Do. Do, De, Do, here we go. One more time, we'll talk about it a little bit and then we'll look at it together. Do they do? Here I go. Remember at the beginning, our first tonal pattern is do, 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 do. So we have a do, 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 do. Four do's in a row. Then from there, when you get to the end of that, freeze. Freeze, freeze. From there, your hands move in toward each other to so's. Starting with this hand. So, so. And then the crash sound which is the black keys on either side of so. So go ahead, if you can, play that with me. Do, 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 do. Freeze, move inward, and then we'll play the crash. Let's try it. Red. So get your two hands ready. S1 and S2 are over here. We're back to the full keyboard picture. Do, day, do, play with me. Move inward to so. This hand goes first. Ready, play. So, so, crash. Now we're going to do that same pattern again without freezing. So see if you can move straight through. Do, day, do. Play the next pattern. Same thing. Okay, pattern three. We have our do, 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 and then we freeze. Instead of moving in to so, we move out, hands away from each other to the middle black key, and this time, this hand goes first. So the middle black key, which by the way, if you know where so is, it's the key just to the right. So is G, this is G sharp. And then we move from there to so's, right next to us. So, go ahead and try playing this with me, or just pause, or just watch. Either way is fine. So, we're going to play it like this. I'll show you. Freeze. Move out to the middle black keys, starting with this hand. Middle black key, freeze. Then we're going to go to the so's. So, 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 freeze. Move to two do's. We'll do do, do, freeze. I'm so in me in the middle. If you can already play this, just hit fast forward. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's play this together. We're playing the second half of the song, one pattern at a time. All right, starting on do, do, do. Ready, play. Do, 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 do. Freeze. Move out to the middle black keys, which is G sharp. Start with this hand. Play now, middle black key, freeze, move to the so's that are right next to you, same hand goes first, so, 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 freeze, go out to two do's, do, do, freeze, hands go all the way to the middle of the keyboard to do and me. Go ahead and review this and play it loudly and softly think about your technique shoulder to fingertip as you're playing loudly and as you're playing softly and that is plenty for this song for now next time we're going to finish up all the stuff for it but you can do loudly and softly for now and 
Just checking. Just checking. I think that is it. Ah, uh, yes. I'll talk about the other thing when we have our assignments. So here is your list of assignments. If you do not have your assignment book out, please grab it. Grab a pen or a pencil. Yes, you think that hand is out there. So you pet you. That's so nice. Assignment number one, audio tracks, 10 and 11. Audio tracks from book, not two, book three, the red one. Audio tracks, 10 and 11. Those are getting you ready for unit five, book number one. Number two, page 15, the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when do is D and la is B. So assignment two, page 15. Assignment three, keyboard skills, page 13, this side and this side, numbers two and three. Number two is also what you just did. So that's assignment three. Assignment four, improvisation. Over on this side of page 13, number one. Assignment six, review French folk song and continue working on it hands together. So focus your efforts on hands together. And assignment seven in the back of the book, tonal pattern project. This is on page 61. Just like last time, we're doing project five only because it has two different tracks. So this is project five, tracks seven and three. Project five, page 61, tracks seven and three. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano, book three, unit four B. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks, bye.